morning to all. I am Dr. Dhruvar, Associate Professor in EZ Department. So in this setup, we are going to see the uh, conditions main to be maintained in a klystron power supply. So this is the klystron power supply. So if you see here, this is meter select, this V and C, that is beam voltage, beam current. Then repeller means repeller voltage. So we can vary this knobs like this, this is beam voltage, this is beam current and this is repeller voltage like that we can vary. Then we have beam voltage knob separately, repeller voltage knob separately. So if we vary this, we can uh, vary the voltage value and uh, repeller voltage value. Okay, then we have modulation, different modes used for operating. So first one we have CW that is continuous wave, then we have AM that is amplitude modulation mode, then FM frequency modulation mode, this is extension. So we are using AM mode and FM mode mostly. So uh, we can initially before starting itself we have to maintain the mode. So when you are using AM mode, put it in AM mode and FM mode accordingly. Then before starting this experiment always ensure that beam voltage should be fully anti-clockwise. Beam voltage should be fully anti-clockwise and repeller voltage should be fully clockwise. Beam voltage anti-clockwise, repeller voltage fully clockwise. Then all the other knobs like AM, FM, amplitude and frequency it should be maintained in its mid position. It should be maintained in its mid position like this. So once when, when you ensure this, you can switch on the klystron power supply. Always check whether when you switch on the power supply, it should be the beam voltage. Now the meter select it is in beam voltage position, it should be in 0, 0, 0. Then check whether the beam current is in 0, 0 position. So if it is both the beam voltage and beam current are in 0 position, we can uh, switch on the high tension button. HT means high tension button. Switch on the high, high tension bu button. Always after switching on, check whether beam voltage and current it's in zero. Then ensure that. Then only you have to switch on the HT button. Otherwise, when you directly switch on the HT button, high current will flow through the repeller voltage and it will damage. Uh, high current will flow through the klystron and it will damage the klystron. So always ensure that zero then you go for switching on the HD button. Now your uh, beam voltage is it, it is in 197 voltage and current it is in 12. Always maintain beam current as 13 milliamps. Check whether when you are having HD button on position current should be in 12 to 13 milliamps.